all you did was make me sad. Oh, you not. Oh. <gasps> no. Oh, yeah, no. They were setting my girl up because that's insane to me. She said, you're unemployed. Um, broke, useless, nothing. Oh, just pretending to Billy Eilish, everybody. And it goes a little yeah. something like... Welcome to my review lifestyle on academia channel. My name is Agape Like The Love. If you're near, then hi. Welcome. This is a safe space. But if you're not, welcome back. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be reacting to and doing a lyric analysis of Billie Eilish's brand new album called Happier Than Ever. I hope she's happier. I don't know. From some of the songs that we've heard, there's my girl is not happy. But I'm looking forward to listening to this project. I'm also super nervous because of how big her previous project was and the singles that were used for that project compared to this one but you know what we're gonna go into it with an open mind um and i'm really looking forward to just seeing how billy eilish has, has progressed um whether it be sonically or lyrically or production wise i'm really looking forward to it but before we get into this video i really appreciate it if you give it a, a like um i was gonna say thumbs up a like um uh, and maybe comment down your favorite billy eilish's song your favorite song by billy eilish i really like that um, so yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, bro, guys, first thing I do want to say that this album has 16 songs. 16 is actually like the cutoff point for me. As if it goes to 17 and above and it's not a deluxe album, I'm already having problems. But I think think I think 16 is perfect. Um, so let's go into this. Um, the first song is called Getting Older. Let's listen. First, I want to say I really like that. I really like that start. I think intros intros are so important. We need to normalize having it. Wow. 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 I wish somebody had told me that I'd be doing this by myself. Come on, she is aging wild. Billy is my age mate. Can you guys believe? Like, we're born in the same year. And I feel like useless. Anyways, let's continue. That I'm wow 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 ironic because the stranger seemed to want me more than anyone else before this i think like sonic like thematically this album is so interesting because it's about it's weird like when that dichotomy of finding fame but also feeling like you're super lonely and obviously happier than ever it's, it must be sarcastic right um you like you would think that after the success that you got and after all the praise and acclaim and stuff like that life would be happy and that life would be um just incredible and you on cloud nine but in that like it's in the midst not even the cusp of like adulthood and all of that stuff which it is also about but like the success and the glory and everything that comes with that and then what happens after when all these people who don't know about me are chiming into my life like what happens then <gasps> mm, i got that all from these two oh come on now but they're usually deranged. <laughs> she said some of y'all y'all need help i'm sorry like actually no Things sound worse. Wow, when I retell a story, I make everything sound worse. She said, I realized I crave pity. Mm. Wow, so when I was being honest, I was being ignored. Wow, so, we, so she said, like, the things that I say now sound so rehearsed. It sounds when the things that I say sound so rehearsed, but when I actually say what I mean. No one's going to listen. So I don't win either way. Like either way, I'm either being disingenuous or no one's going to listen to me. So what do I do? No this constant... Din, 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 and with her smooth vocals. Ah. <gasps> wow, come on now. She said this used to be fun for me, but now it's literally just a job. And we have to think that like Billy's twin like Billy's gonna turn 20 this year, right? And it's like she's 20 and it's like this is a really cut cut like 
cut the cameras cut the cameras i'm 20 this used to be so fun for me like i started off this being so fun like you have to take into her age into account like this is someone who's just starting her career like even though it's went massive she's just starting her career and she's like yeah no this is just like this is a chore this is a task i'm just doing this to feed to feed the people because wow Mm, come on now wow i'm happier in ever, than ever at least that's my endeavor like that's my prerogative that's what we're aiming for that's what we're trying to get to whether we get there or not i'm not sure mm, that's a way to open up the album hey like this is not gonna be a happy time Things that I uh, that I was longing for now I'm getting bored of like you it's I think also it's it's something noteworthy to recognize that Billy like a lot of people to get the album of the year to get the um best new artist to get the this to get the that some people wait their whole lives to even touch a Grammy let alone have four or five from your debut album like i think people also forget that that like a lot of the times people wait their whole lives to get this so what happens when you get that at the first try so what happens afterwards like all the things that you were supposed to achieve you've achieved them so what does one do now and couple that with being on the cusp of actual adulthood right getting older there's no other like clear way of saying it like what happens now <gasps> what a way to start the album it's really set the tone and her voice it sounds smooth it, there was no funky stuff that was happening it was very much an honest portrayal of how i feel in the moment i have people that are are expecting so much from me i can feel the weight of all of this on my shoulders and this used to be fun but now it feels like a job to me billy eilish everybody Billy Eilish everybody my goodness that's how you start that album let's let's get into it next song is called I didn't change my number <laughs> what is that is that like a, an animal roaring okay oh come on switch it up we said we, we're starting off calm cool and then she said let's switch it up <laughs> She said, I didn't change my number. You just can't reach me. So how about that? I just change who I'm going to send my messages to, love. The number's still working, but there's a there's a reason why I'm not getting your messages. Oh, the song feels so groovy. It's basically about, Cha, I'm not getting back to you. And that's okay. Because I don't even believe in you anymore. How... That's hectic. I don't believe, like, what you're saying, I don't believe you anymore. This was somebody I could have looked up to, like, and I'm not, I'm not getting back to you. I'm really not. The song, the song is so groovy. I really like, I really like how they played with that, um, in comparison to the previous song. Like, that's so, that's so interesting to me. That's actually crazy. Oh! I love that we need to be adventurous with our production we need to try new things there's so many things that have worked with Billy in the past so I'm glad that they're trying everything they're trying everything and something else you know what I mean the next song is called Billy Bossa Nova every song is sounding different like it's it's giving like you see this production is confusing me but sometimes I like being confused this one feels like the it feels super intimate it's it feels lovey dovey um let's pay more attention oh we're being secretive here this is this is also secretive but it's also like i'm billy eily so everybody can't be knowing who i'm i've been with so we are going to switch up names so we don't have a track you know I'm not sentimental, but there's something but the way you look tonight. Come on now, Billy. Come on. She says, I don't, I'm not usually like this, but... <laughs> I need your full attention. Ooh. Ooh. You look tonight. Ooh. Come on now, 
well this is like this is like secretive this is like siri play not even a listed face siri don't play listed face siri just keep it calm like this is very secretive this is like billy's like maybe it's an obsession maybe it's infatuation maybe it's it's oh like the passion that comes with everything being kept secret everything being kept quiet like i'm switching my names every time i meet up with you like there's something this is a, this is a sizzling this is a spark there's something's happening you know mm, my girl said i'm not sentimental but there's something about the way you look tonight the song is called my future i was gonna say a couple songs in but billy is very much focused i think they like there comes anxiety with knowing what's gonna happen in the future but also like knowing what are the like what are the next steps what what are we what are we doing after this um they, there's a lot of anxiety that comes with that so i can see this album being able to tackle that like what are the next steps the first song is called getting old you see what i mean so It's giving thank you next, right? About oh, because I met someone else. We ha we having better discussions. Uh, because this one go lost because her name is Ari, right? It's giving that vibe. Like this is about me now. This is yeah. I love that song. Billy heard obsessed by uh, Addison Rae. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, but better. I'm sorry. Um, I like that. It feels very. It feels. I don't know it feels really lovely to 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 see that and to see that growth especially in a lot of like the darker the darker more self-deprecating stuff that billy has written it's lovely to see this growth at least like the love of we go we we had the previous song about like the infatuation and the obsession that you have with someone else and it's all and it's and it's like passionate and it's sneaky and it's all of this and then next to it where it's like i'm gonna get to know myself better and I'm gonna take care of myself and I'm gonna I'm gonna um nourish who I am and who I'm becoming um because I think that person is deserves it right <gasps> my gosh the drugs the next song is called oxycontin and obviously it's fast and upbeat This is someone, I need to know you, I need to know you, almost like you're hooked, like, like you need a fix, I want to, I'm intrigued, I'm, you see what I mean? This one was interesting, I think this one I'm going to need to listen to more and digest it more. Um, yeah, it, it was... I, I I could I could get the sentiments as to why it needed to be all out there for the production for to make sense with the type of song that was like I get it I get it I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to that one more more and then I feel like I like it more yeah it just need it's gonna oxycontin is gonna grow on me this song is called Goldwing Goldwing yeah he has come to the bosom of his beloved. It's giving angelic, it's giving, it's giving those vibes. Hectic. I was gonna say, Phineas is doing the mid, like, mid song thing, which I like, I like that. With the first one, it was very, oh, this is a, this is a, this is a journey, this is a, but then with now, he's doing like, I'm, I'm gonna change it up halfway, not even halfway. 20 seconds in i'm gonna change it up i like that since you gotta keep your head down um getting very much protection vibes of other people keep your head down yeah i'm getting much mama bear not mama bear but like wanting to protect other people hmm per this next song is called she said you're unemployed um broke useless nothing going for you so 
No, this song is fire. We know this. this is one of my favorite songs that have come out that we've heard. Um, it just the it just the good vibe. The video was sick. Like even though the the lyrics in comparison to the video, you're like what? Um, but this is a sick song. Like. The person in question in this, I, I, do, I don't even know their gender. Like, I'm trying to think of from which perspective it is. But I don't know. Like, it could be. Like, it could actually be anyone. I'm trying to think now. And, I, like, I come off blank. Like, it could literally be anyone. But I think it could also be, like, an idea. Like, mmm. Mmm. The song 8. The song's called Halley's Comet. Yeah, those chords are insane to me. She's like, okay, subconscious, like, my subconscious is like. And I must admit you've been in quite a few. When we fall asleep, eh, where do we go? She's like, in my dreams, I see you. In, in, in my dreams, I see you. Hey, Jack, to love you. Oh, she's like you know when I used to feel empty inside. Yeah, that was like, and now, not me pining, not me like doing all of this. Sheesh. Mm. Come on now, she's like that love thing. Yeah, it's been we've experienced it, but this, I was wow. I've been. It feels like I've been made for you. Hmm, that breath. Sure. No, our girl is our girl is gone. Our girl is a goner. Like, what's gonna happen now? She's saying, I'm panicking. I think I'm gonna lose my job. What's gonna happen now? <gasps> Not the the grungy, the emo. She's like, What's gonna happen now? I think I'm in love. <gasps> Wow. Intro. Oh my gosh. It's gonna make me cry. I love this. Wow. The you could say the approval of like the male gaze and the way in which people have been sexualizing her, but also like Billy didn't ask for this. She didn't ask to be a role model. She didn't ask to be the champion for whatever, whatever. She just was there and I'm like, I'm going to make music. So all of these added things on that we pressurize uh, female artists and we pressurize women and young people. Like, I didn't ask for that. I just came to make my music and to do that. So whatever you guys put on me, that's not my responsibility. Like, that's not on me. That's actually not on me. Come on, Miss Slam Poetry. <gasps> wow. So much. She said the paparazzi, you lot are in my business everywhere. What is happening? I feel like this is connected with the one before. Like, what? Yo, ciao. You're being my business. <gasps> I can't even wear tops. You guys are going to freak out. Print pictures. <gasps> Weirdos. Wow, 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 wow. At the root of it, you actually want to hurt me. You actually want me to suffer, like. Yeah, this is Billy being pissed. The lyrics, if you go back to the Bury Giants, and everybody said it was a letdown. I was only. And everybody said it was a letdown. I was only built like everyone else now, and I didn't get a surgery to help out because I'm not about to redes redesign myself now. Am I? Am I? Am I? All these inanimate be and it's none of my business but don't get but you don't get sick of posing for pictures with that plastic body man like I remember when those pictures came out of Billy and everybody was doing and it's like you guys are doing absolutely the most and not to say that that you shouldn't do whatever you want to but come on now this is just me in my natural state. Like you guys are doing apps. You guys are doing the absolute most. And as soon as I heard the song, I knew that that's what what Billy was trying to convey. Like no, like I'm pissed now. Like 
but you guys aren't gonna get the best of me like I'm gonna get to decide what I want to show like yeah yeah yo yo even me I, was, I and me I wanted to fight someone like I, I was there with I was squaring up with you Billy like I was there with next song the next song is called everybody dies which is true though but like did you have to say it's true though but like surprise, surprise. She said, surprise, surprise, this, this isn't forever. Who would have thought? Not me, not me. It's weird, like, what in your life has taken you to a point where I don't know, you're looking at things very full circle, you, you're you recognizing, it's super introspective, but like you're recognizing that these things are not going to be here forever, that I'm, that relationships that I'm going to have with people is not going to be here forever, like things must come to an end, um, and everybody dies, like literally everybody dies, but also things die, and situations die, and, and you have to let go of certain experiences, like you have to know that this is going to be over. Next song is called Your Power. We heard the song. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful song um, about like self-proclamation and owning up to things and after a terrible, after terrible, terrible times and after times when people didn't, didn't allow you to have that free even the the piano not the piano the guitar the like you can hear the strumming you can hear every little intricate detail that's how personal that's how intimate the song is like you can you can feel the them changing position on the arm like with the strumming like you can you can feel everything but you yeah yeah there's a lot of things that you can say about this song like a lot I, there's a lot of things that you can say about the song um just being taken advantage of whether in the most extremist ways or whether it's just being feeling like you've been manipulated um into any type of situation right you, this can this can translate into a lot of things um but feeling hopeless and then having that 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 almost mantra is like don't lose your power yeah you actually have more um autonomy than you think you have like you can you can govern how you want things to be um yeah no there's so many layers packed in the song that it's and it's beautiful you guys it's so beautiful it's so intimate it's so as she's saying this this couldn't be overly done with and overly saturated with things going on it had to be stripped literally literally because it's so vulnerable next song is called India mm. yo we're having a lot of personal experiences in this one hey um she says in the lyrics um sheesh this one is deep she says had to save money for security i had a stalker walking up and down the streets says his name was satan and he'd like to meet and this actually happened right this was an incident that happened at billy's house that there was someone who um there was a stalker and they were making like throat like throat that type of gestures they were in they made it in her, they made them like they were in her house and they called themselves i think the name was lucifer right so that's why i called him satan da, 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 da. um and yeah no this this girl has been through a lot like she's been through a she, she's been through a lot eh? because this just no she's been through <gasps> yeah so even had a, uh, a pretty boy over da, 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 made him sign an MB NDA almost like your privacy has literally been violated and now you're in that stage in your career where now I can't even take any risks like I can't take any ch chances in one in one situation it's there's no consent in the other one where you actually have to be forced to like you know what you have to just sign this because so much has happened that I can't have any control over anything. So now we have to be hyper, like we have to hyper control things because 
I didn't have control when there was literally anything happening at a stalker in my house. Like, you see what I mean? Like, the, the opposite in that, and it's in the same verse. That's crazy to me. Yeah, and I told you, my girl, she just, she's, she, again, this idea of not wanting this job, like, just doing it because, but, like, not actually enjoying it. And with all the things that have come with it, the, all the, the scrutiny that she's been under and just everything, like, yeah, I don't, I actually don't want this. Like, genuinely, I don't. Yo, that was packed with a lot. <laughs> I love that you couldn't have this isn't distinctly about someone like you actually wouldn't know like uh, Billy's talking in a broader sense she could be talking about the specific people but it's also like child the media people like whatever if it like if the shoe fits say hey, put it on like and twirl do it twirl if it fits the narrative you couldn't care less and you could give him my best but just know I'm not your friend or anything the next song is called Happier Than Ever. I'm very surprised that that wasn't the last song, hey? It's the, it's the penultimate song, but I'm very surprised it wasn't the last one. I only know that because that's what, what was played when the, she, Billy was doing the promo for this album. You see, I don't even think it, when I'm away from you, I don't think it's necessarily a person. could be a person, but it could just be everything. Like, when I took my hiatus, I was very, I was having a good time, hey? Before I... What did she do? She flipped that. She flipped that. My word. Oh, oh, what? <gasps> Guys, I'm angry that Billy only showed us this. No, that means Billy has a punk rock in her that is able to come out. No. I simply refuse. That sounded so insane that she flipped that. <gasps> All you did was make me sad. Are you not? Oh. <gasps> no, no, she's in that. She's in that. <gasps> my, my, like, I'm, I was gonna say I'm levitating, but after the week that we've had, I don't wanna use that word, but. <gasps> my goodness why was that not dropped as one of the main singles <gasps> oh yeah no they were setting my girl up because that's insane to me come on billy i'm very really surprised that you ended this album not on the other note hey so we're gonna see what this song has to leave the album with because i'm very surprised Miss Billy Eilish <gasps> Miss Billy Eilish <gasps> Oh my days Billy Eilish Come on Miss Billy Eilish with that first paragraph about like male pleasure and and the that that's why the idea of like the male gaze the the male fantasy that comes from that um and trying to get over a breakup <gasps> Come on, give us the essay. Oh my gosh, that song was so beautiful. <gasps> am I really over you or am I just telling myself that to make myself feel better when in actual fact, like, I'm still yearning. <gasps> yeah, no. Guys, I was so... <gasps> thematically, this album was so interesting. It was such an exploration of the time, the time but also the future of... No, but the time and also the future of what's been like going on in in um, Billy Eilish's mind, right? But also the dichotomy of being having the being one of the most successful artists, but going through such a chaotic time, right? From feeling like 
you don't have your auto autonomy and your consent right to literally somebody breaking into your house an actual stalker to being in love to having to go through breakups and um act like things are fine when things are actually not like there's so there's so much that, enc that encompassed the last few years for billy and to actually get that thematically in an album was so so interesting to me and it was so suc succinct within the whole project like it felt very 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 mature um my favorite song has to be happier than ever because of how we get that like change halfway in the song um i need a Billy rock album now like a punk rock I needed I low-key needed because of how that was um that was so I yearned for more of that that was so interesting to me um but thematically I really thought this was a strong and consistent body of work um some maybe some songs I was like okay maybe this dragged on a little bit but like I, I understood the reason as to why every song was placed where it was and why it needed to be there. Maybe I would have taken some songs out. Maybe it could have been 13, 11, but it made sense. Like, th she told the story throughout, if that makes sense. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching my lyric analysis reaction video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't be afraid to give it a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel um, for more content like this. And anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.